Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Horizon Zero Dawn. Today, I'm pretty sure we're about to go stomp the living bejesus out of our attack. So, let's do that. That should be fun. I can shoot him with a grenade launcher too. Hi. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. I'm pretty great. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow, Outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Ha <laughs> ha Is this a challenge? Oh, absolutely. For the Warwick. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is a joke. It Have you looked in the joke, mirror? Eritok. Now I see. The Outlander's your pawn. I kind of. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. Good. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Oh, are you guys actually related or is this like a brother tribe sister, thing? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery. Well, it's gonna be quick. I don't know about you putting an end to it. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. Why? What did you guys do? Angry. I'm not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't Same thing, really. I think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. Uh, you and our attack. Bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. Yeah, none of you are children. You guys are actually yet, definitely middle-aged. Part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. What if he doesn't this time? What if he dies? Family drama. Oh shit, he's gonna die, isn't he? <laughs> Challenge meant to be anyway. You and Aratok will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. Oh, what really? It won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. Wait, really? We're not gonna fight? From the base of the hills. Ah. Aurea, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. And I wanted to shoot him with a grenade launcher. Gain, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I underestimated you. And Aratok. Yeah, very foolish of you, to be quite honest. I won't make that. I, like the one person you shouldn't underestimate. Figures, Well, those things just popped into existence so, back there. Off to risk my life in order to take charge of a Banu hunting band. Just what I always wanted. I mean, I do like it when people follow my order. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Is this this this? Okay, that makes sense. Frost figures, here I come. All right, cool. That's actually kind of hilarious. We were just there uh, last time, and I was like, oh, this definitely seems like a boss arena of some sort. Hopefully the mic sounds good. I, uh, I tried to record the first episode of uh, Portal Stories Mel yesterday. And uh, things went awry. Like my mic settings got all jacked up to max. Like, and I, that's not like an understatement. Everything was maxed out. You could hear like the slightest noise coming from anywhere in this house uh it was i can't fix it i tried like there's no amount of filters i can put onto that audio file to make it the frost figures our attack and Araya must be close listenable right because when i say everything think of my voice just completely jacked up like super you know peaked just completely peaked uh but even when i'm not talking you could hear like you could hear like my lips moving. That's how loud it was. 
Like if I was just like like moving my lips or something like that or taking a slight breath, it would echo. <laughs> uh, it's so fucking disappointing. And I don't know if it was a hardware issue or <sighs> I the game might have reset all the audio somehow. Because I was looking up like some stuff and one of the, like a fan patch was like oh stop you know the game from resetting your mic settings I was like oh what okay that's weird but I don't know what I'm gonna do I was gonna do that before I did eternal punishment <sighs> but I don't want to I don't know I don't want a chance screwing up my goddamn microphone again So hopefully it sounds good. If it doesn't sound good, I'm going to cry. I did a couple of test recordings before this. Outlander. What? I have prevailed over such challenges before and fear none. Good for you. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my response. I don't care. I want to go to the Thunderdome. I ask you. One hunter to another. Withdraw. Will you let us go to Thunderstrom? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's Then I gotta kick your ass, man. Then we better get on with this. So be it. I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground. Enough! You can try. Let us begin. To hunt. To strive! That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Okay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this so that all our kin will- When did you guys progress. set these up? Because I don't think these were here before. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. <laughs> so, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well, yes. And as challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. That's a stupid rule. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. I mean, to be fair, yeah, even if you guys say I fail, I'll just sneak into your tent at night and stab you in the throat. Because no! that is a stupid rule. Ow. All right, gotta head up that mountain. Got seven minutes. Seven minutes of me time. All right. Looks like there are a few ways to go up, and those rock paintings mark the path. Okay. What? Hey, where'd this tentacle thing come from? Where'd that town thing come from? What? Sorry, what? Is that that? These two? Sure. Okay. Hey, does he know I have a grenade launcher? Cause it's gonna be kind of kind of funny when he noticed me just blowing okay, things up. Here we go. This kind of reminds me of the beginning of the game. I wonder if I'll jump to my death like an idiot again after boasting about how great I am. This is definitely a trend. Uh, this way. Uh -huh. I seem to be on the right path. Good. Probably should have picked up that healing thing just in case, but oh well. Come on, Aloy. Time's wasting. Uh, I'm moving as fast as you will let me, Aloy. So if you're gonna stop, start bitching and complaining about how fast I'm going. Speed up, because I can't go any faster. You don't exactly have like a speed stat. 
That would be right, sick, Georgia. though. You need to take off the herd below. Below? Every machine. Kill herd. Okay. All right. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, what? Oh, God. I'm in the fire. In the flames. But that's okay. Actually, you know what? No, never mind. Missed. Missed me, missed me. Oh, now I gotta blow myself up. I didn't mean to make four or six of those. Probably don't need. Ow! What? Excuse me, rude. Where? Up there? I'm out of blaze! Oh shit, really? Come on, climb up here! I'm trying, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Go. Now climb the ridge and launch your balloon! I'm amazing, I know. Talk knows what he's doing. No time to waste. That's debatable. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Blaze? I don't think there was any blaze in that. Oh, Two no. bellowbacks ahead, challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. Okay, I can do that. Two bellowbacks. I want my bellow back, baby. <laughs> Babel back? No, bellow back. Alright. So, I... Oh. Oh, wait. That seven minutes wasn't total? Oh, our attack. You dumb fuck. Uh, no. You can't see me? I'm... I'm in the thing. Well, here I am. Yeah, I'm... I know, I know, I know, I know. Really? You turned at the last minute. Yeah, that was that makes sense. Why are you going after anything that's not the Bellabax Furnos? I don't know, okay? I uh, legitimately have no goddamn idea. <laughs> uh, what? What hit me? Oh, the guy in the back? Ow. Heal. Okay, I'm out of that. I can make more, though. Uh, beautiful. One more. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Bellaback. That is your real name. Uh, I missed that shot horribly, actually. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Alright, where are we going? Right here? You said I didn't have to kill those Over guys, and I actually Raise think I already marker. did. Never mind. Okay, now to the marker. Marker's up there. All right, let's get three lip ready. Future use. I'm ahead, but only by a little. I gotta get moving. Which is impressive because that timer said I had now like take the zip line and a your lot of time left. Well, I'm gonna need to buy more blaze. Storm's kicking up. Can't see much. 
close now. Well, nope, stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, so we got four minutes left. That's not that bad. Almost down. What am I gonna be fighting? Probably Barello, right? All right, to the last challenge. Get up. I'm like, am I stuck? Am I frozen today? Something's wrong. My kin should be here. Driving in our final quarry. Am I, was that my balloon or your balloon? It is a Barella! Oh, there's two of them! Oh, three! Okay, well, that might be a bit too much. I don't have my grenade launcher anymore. Alright, well, well, I have one grenade thing. That I fucking whiffed on. Fantastic. Ow. I'm out of ammo. Okay, one second. One second. That's right, right there, right? No. Well. Close enough. I don't know why I jumped there. Hello. You're like half health, right? Can you, can I see your weaknesses? Yeah, there. All right. Like that, and then you instantly. Sp Ow. Oh, I should have hit. I I'm falling. Hello. Rude. The heart attack, you alive? You don't have to be, it's fine. Yeah, well, you know, I kind of wanted to hit that yellow thing. Oh, hi. Is this your brother or sister? Ow. Die, please, thank you. Oh, I'm level 53. Wow. <laughs> I'm mad. To say the least. Um... I really don't have any more blaze. This entire game, I have had nothing but blaze. And I am out. Are you spitting shit out of your chest? Our attack, what are you doing? Can you not tank one of these things? Like Jesus Christ. That was not three shots, was it? That better not have been three shots. Oh. Our attack, I swear to God, I'm going to end you and your bloodline if you do not pull aggro on one of these. You have one job. And apparently you can't do that. Oh, hug? Ow! Not the worst hug I've ever had. But, maybe don't do that again, please. Also, I like I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty sick. Very Dark Souls. Ow. What was that? You tried to butt bump me! Oh, what did I say about hugging me? I am not a hugger. I'm a kisser. Pucker up. Ow. Ow. Our 
Artek, are you actually unconscious, you actual trash man? I mean, it's garbage day, but I didn't think it was that much of a garbage day. Can you die? Like, I'm done fighting this one, thank you. I like your little blue gleam bullshit. Well, at least you get this one down to half, I guess. You're not completely useless. Yeah, you are. Wow, I ended that thing. So it's true. Frost claws from Thunder's Drum. Uh, they're Barellas. The cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. Uh, I boring. whooped all the asses. You saw what she did. Yeah, I outperformed you. And I will stab you in the throat. She defeat the machines. Not I. This is true. Hey, I'll give you credit for that. It is proven. She is the better hunter. Yes. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? Obeying the Anointed One? You did that to yourself. My blood is in your teeth. It better not be. That's disgusting. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. I don't care. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. No, only as you do as I say. No. I'm the chieftain. Only if you do as I say. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You are not the chieftain, lady. If you want to be the chieftain, you got to challenge me. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch, it's called. Meet us there when uh, you're ready. Dumb name. Chieftain. Do I get a cool robe? Better spear? Do I have monthly tributes? Can you start building a, like a statue to me? One, the work challenge. And a weapon like Aratox. What? Oh. I guess the chieftain gets the chieftain's gear. Eat. Barja will want to take a look at the ice rail. Oh. Okay. Oh, come on. Ice rail. All right. I want to take a look at the ice rail. What is the ice rail? It's in a box. Why give me things in boxes? <laughs> ice thrower. Uh, Banuk Warchief. Okay. Sure. No, open. Give me, give me a, give me a. Okay. Weapon. Launches powerful ice thrower attack. So, is it, this is pretty much just like the other weapons we have? It's a. It's an ice. It is literally an ice thrower. That's what it's called, isn't it? Right. <laughs> okay. Let's check out that armor then. I mean. Okay. Um. Well, I'm going to put my flamethrower back on. That's for sure. Uh, then I'm going to go totally buy some stuff over here oh she's actually at this camp isn't she oh okay that saves me some time i guess am i gonna go upgrade it uh, i don't know i'm probably never gonna use it i might sell it to be a dick to be quiet no i'm not gonna sell it that would be kind of hilarious just go up in front of our attack and Araya and be like hey sell this bullcrap here uh okay you 
There is two side quests here? Okay. No, I need a cell. Thank you very much. Anyway, I can... It's not what I wanted. Uh, sell by, like... Stuff I don't need? Okay, I guess they don't have that. That's a shame. Is there really only one item here that is just only selling for metals? That's interesting. Okay, so I'm not going to use the sparker again. Goodbye. Am I going to use the chill water? Probably not. I, mean, I don't need this stuff anymore, right? Probably not. Well, let's come over here real fast. Ammo. Full there. Now I need blaze. Because holy crap, I never thought there would be the day where I actually had to buy blaze. Not like it's expensive, but it's 25 per ammo thing, right? So I need a ton. I need an absolute metric ton of blaze 200 is that enough no it's not but i'm gonna buy 200 and hope <laughs> i yeah i don't know there we go is there anything like I did not know I had things like this. I need badger skin. Motherfucker. Yeah, I, I just totally didn't realize I had new pouches for that. Fine, I'll, I'll upgrade like all this stuff, because why not? I have the, the resources for it, clearly. And you know what? I'm never going to use this stuff, so but I'll upgrade it anyways. Alright, I just used a ton of my Ridgewood. So I need Badger Skin. Oh, it's actually 20. Okay. I might find this Blue Gleam stuff valuable. Y'all have any badges around here? Yo, I did not. I don't know why I didn't think there was gonna be uh, like ammo pouches for that. I should have realized. I should have realized that. Maybe just I didn't like didn't think. I don't know. Oh, I can buy this now, huh? Oh, and I can buy that. Oh, interesting. So. I can buy this now, right? Because I have 22 blue gleam. Yeah, equip. Thank you. Right there. Then we come over here. Crafting. This is our new hunter's bow. Just go ahead and... That off. Put it on here. There we go. And now it will be slightly stronger. I mean, 158 is actually insane. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent damage there for the the quick bow. Uh, Varga, I'm gonna take this quest of yours. I. Guarantee you, you that I'm probably not going to do lately? it. I might have. Let's talk. I got a nice rail. I've got a nice rail, just like our talks. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes. It's not yes, that impressive. I love that. It spits out ice. I have okay. a refrigerator that does that. Mm. <laughs> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these, yeah, that should. 
Right. So, believe it or not, she's operating at, let's be generous, half her potential. What's with the she's? Oh, Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, well, listen. Why wouldn't he realize if he had that a if he's calling all weapons to work with? Her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one. If you want to go hunting with me. Uh. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing. That thunder jaw. Why wouldn't he think it. that's a compliment if he's calling them? Or so, it's, this is, it's kind of weird. Hunt. They seem pretty rare up here. Not that I'm complaining. That's why we should get out of the cut for a while. Hunt one in the valley meet. I'll wait for you out there. Easier for me to work with parts before the metal goes cold. Is Bergrun going to be okay with this? Eh. If we can handle a Thunderjaw, we can handle Pop. Okay. I mean, I could just shoot your dad, that's true. Whatever they do, they do with passion. Outlander. It would be my honor to speak with you. Oh, I know. That's why I'm probably not going to talk to you. But, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like, yeah. I don't know why it wouldn't be... Like, it wouldn't be like, uh... A diss or anything like that. It's not because weapons are very important. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Heard of you, Huntress. Each of the many verses Dude, your, of your song face tells got of an fucked up at some victory. point. The Maybe that's just old, Kronos. No, like his eye. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. You should about me. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur, Umnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here, for another. They call it the Claws Beneath, or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip, my bones ache. Hunters. Relatable. But you, out hunting Aratak, leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. Uh, hunting in your place. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuk custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banu hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Makes the pile bigger. Better to live in a world without the claws than to die while it still makes children orphans. All right, uh, Umnak song. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. Push it to the limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. Lovely. Uh, the claws beneath. This machine, the claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been 20 winters past. We were so close to bringing the claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Did he get himself killed? Every few years, the claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt. I had hoped to complete what the fuck? it in his honor. Wait a minute. Oh, there's like a delay on my audio. What the fuck? All right. Hopefully, um... 
honestly, I don't, I don't know if the entire episode's just not synced up. I uh, did some syncing stuff before I reset everything. Um, I might just have to switch this audio interface out. I I I, I turned on so I, like apparently Windows 11 doesn't work too smoothly with the Scarlet uh, focus right, which I didn't know. Uh, I have another audio interface, but it's kind of well an older one. It's not. It's about as good quality was. I don't really know. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting all these issues all of a sudden now. God damn it. I thought I was done with my computer issues. Literally, I, I, my computer has been work, working perfectly fine. Um, I, I haven't sent anything back. I, I, I did some steps and I solved a lot of my problems. It doesn't crash. There's no glitching. There's no nothing. And now all of a sudden there's audio problems, which sucks. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. Anyways, I'll hunt for this you, maybe. Obviously important to you, Umnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? Oh, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this, I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. I'm so mad. The stories <laughs> say the claws beneath I'm return so here only mad once still. every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Northeast? Hunt well. Like... Over here? The cut's down here, right? You could just turn on the quest chronos and see. Uh, sure. Oh, no. Oh, this is the cut. Oh, all right. I'm not doing that right now, though. I'm sorry. Um, here? Yes. All right, where is... I'm so worried that something's gonna go wrong with this fucking recording. Watch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost claws. Hello. But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. And your minds! Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. Uh, you and Araya. Hey, take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Araya, Araya. This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. Oh, okay. Uh, what happened to her? What happened to Araya? I don't know. I want to know. She's a captive of the Karja. As a shaman, she's adept with machines, tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. Yeah, they're not that great. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame. She suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured is by reminding is herself surviving. her spirit, her purpose. And now that's all she has. Uh, the first expedition. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door, some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through. But it was unflinching. We were exhausted. No way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I mean, you do need to know when to retreat. I had hoped to never subject Araya to that again. Oh, what's past what the door? What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal? That dead hum, 
Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death. That's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. All right. Farewell. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. A good Warak has no weakness. All right, where is Araya? My kin with my life. Up here? What? Oh, it's the music. Like, the, what is screaming right now? Ray, where are you at? Disappear? <gasps> Were you never here to begin with? Oh, there you are. What you, what you cooking? Molting lava? Delicious. Really? This is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. She is an AI. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider. Someone ignorant of our ways, but no, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Araya? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. You're welcome, I guess. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate. Oh, I'm good at that. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right. Stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. I don't feel getting those wires through your skin. Your captivity. Let's bring out some some lovely memories, right? Aratak told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratak, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost. You think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. Pretty sure that's not really important, but okay. And my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him. Worried for him. Uh, air attack in the war. What did the war do to Aratak? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banuk has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? Ah, uh, lovely. Uh, silence! Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratak, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Ban Or from the distant north, the young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a remote Werak that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. It was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. Hmm. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but... That was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves. Let me guess, of the he went Monster, there and then peaced out. A month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, <laughs> the caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, 
Those who had vouched for him were gone. Huh. As though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Yeah, maybe. Anyone else I would warn off. But you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. Uh, also, the actor that played Silence uh, just passed away recently. 60 of natural causes. I know that tag gets, like, attached to a lot of different things, but that just doesn't seem right. 60 of natural causes. And I know natural, like I said, natural causes, it covers a lot of things. Man. Uh, Thunderdrum. What are we gonna find up there, Rhea? Ruins. Machines. And a door. Like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. Wouldn't be the first cauldron I got through, sure. Spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. Uh, well... I'll be back. I still need to take care of a few things. Understood. I'll be here. I didn't want to say, let's go, just in case it started, like, immediately. Um, because I'm going to be ending the episode. I just... I need badger, not goat. Okay. Um, you have badgers around here? I need, I need badger bones, I think. So, yeah, I got to I think I'm going to swap out my audio interface real quick. I got to watch the episode, make sure everything's good. I don't think it, it wasn't desynced when I uh, when I started recording. I hopefully that hasn't been happening for a while. No one's been complaining about it, but still. Breath is ice. Uh, yeah. I'm all right. Out. Well, damn it. I will uh, call it a day here, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.